Welcome back to another episode of renovating our 1961 Avion camper. This weekend, we worked on getting the vent fan replaced and the rest of the roof sealed up. That is what I'm talking about. That is a ladder. Yep. Weird. <laughs> to that one. This is what we were working with last week when we were working on the roof. Um, this is what we needed. Okay, everyone. So today, we're replacing this. We're taking this out and putting in an exhaust fan. We're also going to be taking some of those vents. Yeah, and some of these vents. And yeah. Now, there may be screws under here. I really can't tell because it's got so much of that stuff on there. Coat, roof coating on here. We'll and just I have to bust tell. it out like you had mentioned yeah. before. Well, let's go inside. Well, before you came in here, it had a screen. The but screen I'm, is shot. Yeah, I went ahead and ripped that off. So I'll throw it with our other broken screen. So, as the screen was coming off, this was coming off too. This huh. may not actually be that hard of a thing to disassemble. I'm gonna say it looks like it's gonna be quite easy. That'd be the first thing in this camper that has been. Look <laughs> at that. Is that it? Would you like? No. But that's the majority of it. Yeah. You just gotta take the surrounding pieces out. I think maybe not. Uh, mm. there's that bracket. I'm gonna go get the exhaust fan that we have to replace in here before I start demolishing anything else. Yeah. If I could guess, you're probably gonna have to pop this part out. Okay. So, so that's basically what that metal piece is. Up this there. is no, this is the. Oh, this goes inside. Inside like oh, that. Okay. And then this will go outside like that. But I don't think this will fit. Oh no, it won't. Yeah, it will. Oh, okay. I'm just curious about something. <laughs> I said no, it won't. Mm, it did. Oh yeah. I'm gonna say you were right. Maybe not. No, because it needs to sit. Inside a little bit more. Yeah. I don't know how it's attached on the top. I don't think this is the right thing for me to do, but. Ooh. I don't either. I think we should just go outside and start peeling at it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I can see the putty tape. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. I think I can use this to scrape. Okay. I can use this hammer. This claw hammer. Okay. Back outside. Back outside we go. Well, at this moment, I really can't determine how this is on here. And I don't want to take the risk of, like, trying to remove this and damaging the actual roof of the camper. So, we may just get the grinder and then just cut it off. Before Wade broke out the grinder, he tried one more thing. Will you hand me the hammer, please? I'm getting it. Like thing from the Adams family. Yeah. Yes, I can see it cracking. Oh yeah. Boom! It's riveted in, babe. Is there any Look screws? Look at that. Huh? There's no screws. No, a... it's just rivets. It's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> hey, it was easier than pulling the last skylight out, so. Oh man, yeah, this is night and day. I just gotta clean it up a little bit. Clean it up a little bit. 
Yep. Yeah. Then we'll put that bad boy right there. That's it. Oh wow, that fits perfect. Well, what I'm gonna do. <sighs> All right, so I'm fixing to go with the putty tape. Seal it up, put it down, screw it down, and then put the inside up. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. Just lay it down and wiggle it until it falls down in place. There you go. Ah. Said be careful. Is it there? Yeah, it's in there. Oh my gosh. That's a little bumpy. And then it locks. Did you hear that? Oh. It like little does a little, not locks, but it did like a little click, like secure. Cool. Yeah. Neat. That was a little scary for a minute. So the next thing we have on the agenda today is to remove these three spots. Um, we need to make it flush. So we'll just seal it up and take these away. So it looks like it's just riveted here all around and it's just got a lip that's like this big. But actually, like I want to keep this right here. Okay. And like you see like this right here yeah like we could use if we could just find more of these we could just put it right over that flush piece and rivet it into this okay well i got an idea since starting this camper project i have worked with several tools but for some reason the oscillating tool is my worst enemy thankfully wade doesn't mind picking up the slack when situations like this come up <laughs> So that thing right there, if we pulled that off, uh -huh. would that, would we need anything other, well we'd still need to put something, it's just better if we just stick just something that, yeah. over and just stick put it this. over it, something like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Seal it down. I think it looks really cool too, so. Wade finished cutting the tops off the vents and we picked up from there the next day. <laughs> gonna rain so I've got to get this coated on here real quick and we are losing daylight but just like last time we're just gonna put one coat on here for right now and we'll come in and do another coat later the past few days have been unsuccessful trying to find a cap for the vents that we cut down. So Wade came up with plan B. We used leftover metal from the interior skins, traced the piece from the original plan, and cut three circles out. Wade applied a layer of through the roof over the holes, positioned the metal, and riveted those into place. He finished the project by sealing it all up. Thank you guys for following along, and we will see you in the next one.